Hi, this is Dr. Naidu, and today I'm going to review some things that patients don't always know about liposuction. So first, what is liposuction? And if you're watching this video, you probably know this, but just to review, liposuction is a surgical procedure in which we're using small incisions to remove fat from the body. We use something called tumescent fluid, which is a physiologic fluid, uh, usually lactated ringers, that also has epinephrine or adrenaline to help prevent some bleeding, and lidocaine for postoperative discomfort. We inject that first, let it sit for about 10 to 20 minutes, and then we can do the liposuction through small cannulas. These cannulas are long metal rods. They're typically no wider than that of a pencil. They're quite thin, and we use small incisions, and afterwards we place sutures to close the incisions. So one thing to keep in mind that patients don't always really think about is that liposuction is real surgery. It's typically an outpatient procedure, and the incisions are small, but it's real surgery. Most patients are under anesthesia and we need to monitor you both during and after surgery. So we need patients to take it really seriously. Tell us all about your medical history. Tell us what medications you're on. We really need to know whether or not you've been on any weight loss medications such as Wagovi or Ozempic. Those are really, really important for us to know about because they can affect your anesthesia and they need to be stopped typically about two weeks prior to surgery. We also need to know what other procedures you might have done. So if you've had cool sculpting or M sculpt or any other procedures like that, that can affect the quality of your fat. So that's really helpful for us to know. You do need to be healthy enough to undergo anesthesia and surgery in order to have liposuction. You might need more than one session of liposuction to achieve your goals, depending on what you're trying to get to. So for safety reasons, we will do no more than five liters of fat at the time of liposuction. No more than five liters will be removed. This volume includes both the fluid that's coming out as well as the fat cells. Sometimes patients will ask me if their fat's going to go somewhere else after surgery. And no, your fat's not going to migrate around your body to other parts after liposuction. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But if you gain weight after surgery, the fat cells that are still there can expand. So you may notice more fat in areas or more fullness in areas that were not treated. It's not that the fat has left your abdomen, for example, and gone to your buttocks. That doesn't really work that way. You will be swollen after surgery. So again, even though liposuction seems minimally invasive because of the small incisions that we're using, there's a fair amount of trauma underneath the tissues. And we are using these cannulas to break up the fat and suck it out. So you're going to be quite bruised in the areas that have been treated, and you'll also be more swollen. Patients will typically say that at one week after surgery, they look bigger than when they started, and that's really, really normal. Your body's reacting to the trauma that's been done, and it's going to be inflamed, and that inflammation and swelling is going to come down as they start to heal. Swelling can take a really long time to come down. Don't expect to put on a bikini a week after surgery. Again, sometimes patients will come in and they'll say, well, you know, I've got a beach vacation planned for two weeks after surgery. Don't do that to yourself. You're going to be very swollen. You're going to be very bruised. You will not be in a good state to go out on the beach after that. Most patients will begin to see results at three months after surgery. In some patients, it'll take a full year to see your final results. It really depends upon how much is coming out and your age and your other medical issues. Swelling also will come down in different areas at different rates. So for example, I'm typically doing liposuction of the abdomen and flanks. That's the most common area I do. Very often I'll notice that the flank swelling will come down much sooner than it will come down in the upper abdomen, and then the lower abdomen will be the last area. That being said, the lower abdomen is typically where I'm doing the most liposuction, so it's the most traumatized area, and it's not unexpected that it would take longer for that swelling to come down. Lymphatic drainage after surgery can be extremely helpful. Gentle activity the first week after surgery is really helpful. By gentle activity, I mean walking around, um, nothing that's increasing your heart rate too much, but just gentle, active movement. Patience is really key in just waiting for all of your swelling to come down. Your skin and muscles will not tighten up after liposuction. So if you have really loose skin and muscle laxity following massive weight loss, or if you've had multiple children, then liposuction is probably not the best procedure for you. The skin will tighten really well in our 20s and 30s if we have liposuction, but after that age, it can take months for our skin to fully retract. And in some cases, for example, if you're in your 60s or older, your skin may not fully rebound. Skin that's been stretched out from childbearing and weight loss just doesn't retract well. The elastic fibers tend to have broken during that stretching out procedure, and they just don't have the 
retraction that they did prior to that um, incident, prior to the weight gain or to having children. Think of it, uh, think of your skin as having rubber bands in it. And let's say those rubber bands have been completely stretched out and now they just don't bounce back. Our skin can sometimes be like that after it's, it's been stretched out too much. Also, our muscles, which stretch out during childbearing, do not come back to normal after liposuction. Liposuction is not touching the muscles at all. Liposuction is not a substitute for weight loss. It will not reverse your diabetes if you have that. You're not going to lose weight with liposuction. It's designed to reduce pox of fat, and it's not really meant to contour your entire body. Immediately after surgery, your weight may actually be higher because we're giving you fluid during the procedure and your body's swelling up. So if you choose to step on the scale after surgery, you'll probably be a few pounds heavier. Don't get freaked out by that. Your body's metabolism won't change, and if you have diabetes, it will not change as a result. The way you react to insulin will not change. Some patients will actually gain weight at about three months after surgery, and this is really unfortunate. In general, if you follow a good diet and exercise plan after surgery, that will help to maintain your results. And I find that patients who are on a good regimen before they even go into surgery tend to have the best results, and they can maintain their liposuction results indefinitely. So just as some final thoughts, liposuction is a really nice procedure for those with a healthy lifestyle and realistic expectations. If you take the surgery seriously and you commit to maintaining your results, you'll have an excellent result. If you want more information, please give us a call, 212-452-1230, or you can visit my website at naiduplasticsurgery.com.